What's up guys, Kuru here and today with a new video. So as many people have asked how to do air parry, for those of you who don't know what the air parry is, it's the parry in the air at the beginning with most of the times you see dual blade characters. Um, if you do the air parry you can save almost one rotation of the boss for the current ranking event and that's why many people want to learn the air parry. And it's easiest to do it with um, dual blade characters. For all the other characters it's highly recommended to do the ground parry because it's a lot easier with the timing. And for the ground parry, I won't make a specific video for it. I will link a few good videos down in the, um, in the description box. So yeah, how to do the air parry. Let's learn it step by step. Um, that's going to be a pretty, pretty in-depth video, most likely. Maybe uh, some people will think it's too easy, but I will show it anyways. So first up, um, I will most likely change my settings here to dynamic. I usually like to play in free, but let's change it to dynamic here. So the air parry consists of a few things. The first thing you need to learn is what these things are. So air parry, jump. Maybe you know how to jump, but I will teach it to you anyway. So you want to jump uh, vertically, a little bit diagonally. You want don't want to swipe. If you swipe too much, then diagonally you start to slide away. And if you do it too uh, too slow, then you start to walk instead. So you want. Um, to find the right angle and jump. You want to jump a little bit forward and should be a quick motion. Okay, after you master the jump, the next thing you need to learn is the attack. For the air parry, you need to do one attack. So tap once and tap once. You don't want to tap uh, many times in succession, so you don't want to have this um, thing going on there when you try to do it at the boss. So, by the way, I highly recommend doing it in the guild. If you don't have a guild, just make one. Practice it in this space because there are no people here which you can accidentally tap on, like in the town, which would be really annoying. Or uh, I don't recommend doing it against the parry practice because the attacks there are pretty fast and yeah, you probably won't learn much there. So try to do it in the guild. So tap, tap. You really want to master this tapping. Tapping as fast as you can in su uh, succession, but without getting this motion. So you want to tap, 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 and tap. Okay, so you master the jump and tap. What's next? So for the air parry, of course, you need to do the parry. So what's the parry? You hold and release. You hold, uh, you tap and hold and release. Tap, hold, release. Tap, hold, release. Tap, hold, release. So you can release as soon as you see the guard bar appear above the character, which is the thing where the shield is. Um, I can't tell you the color because I'm colorblind, so yeah. Whatever the color may be, you want to tap, hold and release as soon as you see it. Okay, that's what I meant. I tapped on my own character, nice. Yeah, you can uh, release as soon as you see the tap sign, uh, the guard bar. So next up you need to learn um, the thing what you need to learn is the tap, hold, guard, uh, or tap, tap, hold, release. So you need to do this move as fast as you can, the tap, tap, hold, release. Tap, tap, and hold. That's what you need to do really fast, tap, tap, and hold, tap, tap, hold. And the thing I see uh, where I personally think most of my mistakes are is that I release too soon. So I don't hold long enough. Uh, what happens there then is that you do the many auto attacks. So what happens is if you jump, tap, 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 then this happens. You want parry. So you want to tap, tap, hold and release. So first try to learn the tap, tap and hold. Tap, tap, 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 hold. After you got this, tap, tap, hold, release. Tap, tap, hold, release. You want to do it as fast as possible. Learn this move as fast as possible. But don't forget the hold needs to be a little bit longer. So tap tap hold release. So next up is what you need to learn is a jump attack. Jump attack. Jump attack. So the important thing here is that you start to tap as soon as you um, yeah, as you jump. The faster you do this the better. Then you have more time for the other stuff. So yeah you don't want to uh, tap many times. Just tap once for the attack. Jump tap. Swipe and tap. That's what you need to do. Swipe tap but faster. Swipe tap. Swipe tap. As fast as you can so that your um, attacking point is at the highest point of a jump 
and not where you fall. Because the higher you can do the air parry, the higher the success rate is. So you need to learn how to jump and tap. And that really, really fast. Jump, tap, jump, tap, jump, tap, jump, tap. So after you master the jump and tap, then the next thing is that you add the parry into your uh, after the attack. So you do jump, tap, tap, hold, parry, and all of this in the air. So jump, uh, tap, hold. Also, okay, again, jump, tap, tap and hold and parry. Jump, tap, tap, hold, parry. So um, these three moves: it's one swipe up. One auto attack, another auto attack with hold, and then swipe down. Or not an auto attack with hold for the second time. The second time it's just tap and hold the screen and parry. So if you do it right, it should look something like this. Hopefully I can do it right now. Okay, I missed it. That's not how it should look like. Okay, you need to do this as, yeah, like this in the air. The higher you can do it, the better it is. So as you can see, my parry is around this point here of the tree. You need to do it at least this high. Probably uh, even higher if you can. So this, this is the point. You probably see the line here. Um, so yeah, around this height. So jump, jump, tap, hold, swipe. Jump, jump, tap, hold, swipe. Jump, tap, hold, swipe. Or jump, tap, hold, swipe. Jump, tap, hold, swipe. Okay, I missed it there. Okay, most of the time people will do this because they just randomly tap too much. The key here is to not tap too much and yeah, try to do it. And if you tap too less then most likely nothing happens or you just jump and then you randomly auto attack at a later point. So um, train, jump, jump, tap, hold. Okay, I missed it here. My fingers get kind of sweaty and then uh, yeah, it's not so good. So, okay, again, man, I need gloves, gloves for playing this. As you can see, my problem is that I don't hold um, the guard um, guard tab long enough. Sometimes, now I'm holding it long enough. Okay, now now again, I tap too fast. And you want to swipe as soon as you see the guard tap. Or then you can release and swipe. I know this looks really stupid, but you really want to train this motion in, in the guild. Because uh, if you master this motion, you can do all air parries. I mean, you can also do the same move with other characters. Um, so let's go back to the guild. It's the same for every character. So for example, for sword characters, it's the same. You jump, swipe, tap, hold. Because here the timing is a little bit different. Because the attack motion is a little bit lower, uh, slower. You land earlier and then you don't get the um, maximum height for the parry and that's why you need to parry almost before the bar appears or just a little bit after and this timing is really really hard to control it's like one frame I think or two frames really really hard to do the air parry here against this boss at least with um, a sword unit but yeah let's try to do it against the boss I'm not sure if I can do it with the first try maybe I need like oh five or ten more tries it's really hard especially if your hands are sweaty and um, but let's try it anyway so first of all I actually want to show you guys um, where I recommend you to jump um, let's let's make this stuff back uh, into free and zoom in as much as we can this is just uh, to show you guys where to jump and where do the air parry Sorry that I'm not doing it in slow-mo, but um, yeah, I'm recording this live right now, so I may fail a lot, so it uh, should be fun. So you want here you can see a marking on the ground. So you want to jump at around this point, between these two candles. I'm standing between, uh, between okay, I'm dead, but who cares. Here's a marking at the ground, 
and you want to jump between these two candles where I'm walking right now. And the boss will most likely stand like here somewhere at this point and you want to jump here, start jumping there. So just look at this mark. If you jump before this mark you are bound to fail and I highly recommend you jumping. Okay, this boss is really annoying here. I uh, highly recommend you jumping a little bit after this mark, so like around here, between those candles is a good is a good place. Don't jump too early, don't jump too late. So let's make it three, four, okay, let's try it. Hopefully I can do it, I will most likely fail and everybody laughs, but that's how it will look like in the beginning if you fail. So I need to uh, remove myself from the microphone for a second and concentrate and wipe a little bit of sweat off my fingers. Hey, we did it. Yeah, you don't really need to get the auto tag in, but I recommend doing it. This helps a lot with the timing. So, let's see if I can do it another time. Yeah, my air parries are actually a little bit uh, lower, so you can do it at a high. If you can jump and do the things faster, you can parry earlier. So I'm missing out like point, uh, 0.1 seconds or 0.2 seconds because of the slow parry. And this could also save a lot of time in the ranking events. I cannot do it as high as I actually want to. I'm a little bit too slow for it. For this, I should actually use two hands, but I'm only playing with one hand. So let's see if I can do it again. That's what happens if you um, jump too early. Uh, I mean too late. Okay, I forgot to switch the character and with the sword character it's really really hard to do. So let's just do it one last time. If I can do it then okay, if I can't do it then you know what it will most likely look like in the beginning of your practice. Okay. I jumped again too late, but yeah, you should. Um, yeah, you really need just need to practice it, and yeah, I can't really do ranking runs if I'm talking. That's a big problem of mine. And yeah, if we can do the air parry, we will save up a lot of time. So let's see in my ranking bracket. Um, this dude, okay, he doesn't do any air parry. Um, doesn't look like any guy in my bracket is actually doing the air or ground parry. If he did the ground parry or air parry, could save at least 4 seconds. That's a minimal, at least 4 seconds I believe. Uh, for this dude, he would save, he would save even more to be honest. He would save, he can also do it in at least like, or he can, I, act, I actually believe that he could do it in like 30 seconds at least with these characters. Well, maybe not because uh, he doesn't have a debuff, but yeah, whatever. So, yeah, practice these moves and then you should be able to do the air parry. So, yeah, that's it for this guys uh, video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as this helps me out a lot. Um, I know I failed a lot of air parries after the first two, but um, it was just a showcase that you can do it. Even I, I need to do it uh, in silence and then I can do a little, little bit more uh, air parries and my rate is a little bit higher but yeah hopefully this can help a few of you and yeah you should be able to save one rotation of the ranking run and that's a lot of time so um good luck in the rankings and i will see you in the next one peace